Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Each one of us, when we live our lives, we have many decisions to make each day. And sometimes those decisions can become quite consuming and also very confusing. With the way the world is right now, as it's constantly changing, and it's been constantly changing since the world was made as the world. So this isn't anything new, it's just this is our time. And as technology improves, as communication changes, as instantaneousness becomes more instantaneous, we become a little more overwhelmed. And what do we do about that? I have people asking me all the time, gee, Gary, what do I do about being feeling so overwhelmed? I got so much to do and just never enough time to do it. It seems like there's never enough time. In fact, it's almost Halloween time right now and it's hard to imagine this year is on its way to being completely over already. So where does the time go? What is this compression about? And what do we do about being overwhelmed when it just seems like we can't get enough done? One of the reasons that this is happening is the way we're living our lives. Today we have news happening faster. We have opportunity coming at us more often. We have more information than we've ever had to manage at any other time in our life. In fact, any other generation has never had this much information coming at us this fast. What we have to learn how to do is really prioritize that information and the events in our life. One of the things that makes us so busy is we don't want to really miss anything. However, when we say we don't want, then we're really using virus words and we have to be very careful how we're talking to ourselves. So we have to reprioritize even the way we speak about it. And we have to ask yourself, what do I choose to do today? What is the most important thing I can do today? And some of you may be telling me, that sounds too simple, Gary. I have a thousand things that have to be done right now. Well, so do I. However, we get them done eventually. Prioritizing is asking yourself, what really has to be done? Is this really something that has to be done? Or is this something I just want to get it done? Is this something I want to do? With all the opportunities coming to us, we watch the news, we see television commercials, we see all the events going on, all the places we can go and see, all the things happening, and we fantasize that we're the only ones not getting to do these things. Remember, these are television commercials. They're designed to seduce you. Radio and news is designed to seduce you into feeling like you have to move towards something else. Sometimes we have to take a look at right where we are right now and understand where we are right now can be paradise if we all start looking at it that way. There's nothing that says we have to go to Disneyland once a year, we have to take an annual vacation and go on a big trip. Sometimes that trip is just relaxing and taking a week off and not doing anything without any expectations. I love those kind of days when I have no plans, no expectations, nothing pulling at me, and I just have nothing to do. Then I go do what I want to do. Oh yes, there's still things that have to get done, but you have to learn how to just say no. This is what I'm doing today because, as I said yesterday, I'm taking care of myself. With all the stuff coming at us, you have to learn to make choices and priorities on what's really important and what's not. And even when it comes down to raising our kids, all the events they're involved in, they don't have to do any of those. It's not going to destroy their life if they can't be in soccer, baseball, football, all at the same time. So ask yourself what's really important, what's the end result, what's the outcome we want here, and how is the best way to get it. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary, wishing you an extraordinary day. Make some good choices today. Bye-bye.